Welcome to AICT Revit Tutorial Lesson 2 Wall, Floor, Placing Doors, Windows and Elevation In lesson 1, we have learned how to create walls, how to draw the walls in different shape, change the width of the wall, change the height of the wall. Right. So in this lesson, we will learn how to create floor and place windows, doors and how to place the elevation. So I'll click the wall tool. I'll make a wall. So I click edit type. I'll make a duplicate. I'll name it as wall to 12 inch. And I'll make a wall go uh, edit structure. I'll make it 12 inch. Okay. And press OK. Now I'll change the height around 10 feet approximately, averagely 10 feet wall height. In the properties window also, you can change unconnected height 10 feet. Now I'll draw my exterior walls in 12 inch. So I'll draw. I'll take start in radius arch. Again, I'll click wall. I'll select wall 1, which means 8 inch in thickness for my interior walls. I will draw my interior walls. However you like, you can draw it. Now we will make floor. We will create floor. So in the architectural tab, here you will find the floor. When you click the floor, the modify tab will be changed to modify create floor boundary. Here also you will find a draw section same as in the wall you have the shapes line rectangle and so on you can draw the floors whatever you want so in this case i am not going to draw a floor i am going to use this pick wall that's the easiest way you can pick the wall and it will automatically generate the floors for you so i'll select the pick the wall and when you select the floor tool here in the properties floor 1 if you want to change the thickness of the floor same as the wall you can go to edit type you can make a duplicate after that you can go to edit structure and you can change the thickness so here i am not going to create a floor so just same as at the wall if you want you can change it just i am showing right so i will keep at one feet the floor thickness here I selected pick wall and here you have offset if you want you can give a offset value here the offset mean how much the floor should be extended in the exterior side of the wall if you want you can give here I gave offset 2 feet and I'll pick wall so when you move the mouse you will get a tracking line to the outside now click so you'll get a pink line if you want to change the offset for other side for example i'll make it four feet so for the sides the floor will be extended four feet again i'll make it six feet for the arch so the floor will be extended for six feet 
right after that you have to click on this correct mark right it means finish edit mode if you want to cancel you can click the incorrect mark to cancel right so either you have to finish or either you have to cancel right you can't keep it like this and you can't do other works because it's all are disabled so that's why you have to finish or you have to cancel so in this case i will finish edit mode now your floor has been created we will go to the 3d view and we will see the default 3d view here under the visual style you can click and you can make it realistic here this is the thing. pressing the shift and the middle button key you can open it so this is the 3d view again i'll go to level 1 now we'll see how to place doors windows So when I click the door, initially, in the first time it will ask, no door families is loaded in the project, would you like to load one now? So I will press yes, we are going to use the existing families which already have created in the library. I will go to the doors folder, there you will find some doors, you can see the preview here. There are some uh, subfolders also residential. I'll go to residential. I'll select this door exterior double full glass and I'll press open and I'll press OK. And you can place that door wherever you want. Click here one door here and another door here. Right. Now if you want to change the height width or any other stuff about this door you can select right so in this case i'm going to change only the width only for this particular door so select this door so when you select the door in the properties you will get door exterior double full glass click edit type when you click edit type here you have a width height, room, uh, rough width, rough height, thickness, so on. Right, so in this case, I want to change the width of the door only for this door. So if you change the width to 8 feet, for example, if you change the width to 8 feet and apply, the both door will be get changed to 8 feet. I want to change only the selected wall. So what you have to do, you have to make a duplicate. And you can give a door i'll give the default name okay and after that i will change the width so it will be only affected for the selected door have you noticed only the selected door it have been changed because i made it as a duplicate otherwise the board door will be get affected again i'll click the door to put my interior doors so when you click the second time, it won't give a browse button. You have to click the door and you have to go to the load families. And there you can select a door, whatever you want. I'll select this door exterior, single entry, half arch and open. OK. So I'll place some doors for my interior rooms wherever you want. Same as, I'll place some windows, same as the door here, click the windows. So first time it will ask, no windows families is loaded in the project. Would you like to load one now? Yes. I'll up folder it because I go to the up level two times. And I'll go to the windows folder. And I'll select the windows. So these are roof windows. Then I'll click the windows and wrong again. Yes, up level, up level, and 
I'll go to the Windows folder. I'll select this one, Windows Day Casement 10 degrees angle, open. And I'll place some windows, one is here, another one here, wherever you want. Again, I'll click the window tool. Click Glow Family to select a different window. Select a different window. I'll select this one. And I'll place it here. One. Two. So one, two. Right. So now I have placed simply some windows. So we will go to the 3D view and see the 3D view. We have the windows and doors what we have placed in 3D. If you want, you can select the window in the properties. You can change if you want. You can change the sill height. Here the sill height is one feet approximately one feet ten inch if you want to make it a little bit higher I will make it two feet six inches I will notice the seal height change you can, if you want you can change the seal height for the doors and the windows right. now we will see the now we will talk about this project browser window here project browser window what this project browser window is going to do it's going to explore what you have what you have done in your project or in your model so here you will find view all legend schedules i'll expand this view all here you have a flow plan i'll expand that one there is a level one that is our flow plan it's mean the top view we didn't do any ceiling plans we have a 3d view these are the two things at the moment we have did in this project we didn't do ceiling plans right here notice if you can watch uh, if you can see any uh, word elevation no here nothing in elevation now i am going to place the elevation after that the elevation will come automatically here so I'll go to my level one, it's mean the flow plan. In the view tab, you don't need to draw the elevation, just you have to place the elevation. Here click elevation. And just place the, just think this is the elevation focus point. This is the north side. It's going to be the elevation one. This is the east side elevation two. This is the south elevation three. If you want, you can make it in angle southwest, something like this, and the west. So I have placed five elevation. After placing the five elevation in the project browser, now you can see there is a, a thing came elevation. You can find, you can expand the elevation one is the north side here. You'll get the elevation. This is the elevation of the east side. You can zoom one this is the elevation three elevation four southwest elevation five west so we have made the elevation so the project browser explored what you are made in your project so we have made a level one it's mean the flow plan the 3d view and we have five elevations so this is the basically we learn how to create wall flows and place windows and doors and we place the elevation also thank you for watching lesson 2
how to modify the walls using the edit profile tool and how to modify the flows using the edit boundary tool.